My scuba diving exploration was a lot of fun for a number of reasons. One was because I was afraid and I overcame that fear by just jumping in and, and doing it. Uh, when you are not a certified scuba diver, you go with an instructor. And there are several things that the instructor asks you to do before they can take you deeper uh, into the water. But what I discovered after I passed those tests, those very small tests with the instructor, is that there is a beautiful underwater world. It's one thing to see it in an aquarium, but it's another thing to see it as it's happening in nature. And that was the most rewarding thing. I remember um, going down and you're know, just kind of looking around. The instructor was in front of me, basically pointing out uh, some things. And you know, he would, she would tap me on my arm if she wanted to point something out to me. And she tapped me on my arm and pointed down. And I'm thinking, well, why do I want to look down? Because I don't think I want to go any deeper. But right beneath us was a kind of lobster called a spiny lobster. And that spiny lobster was sitting on a rock and its tentacles that were sticking straight up or its arms that were sticking straight up were just uh, undulating very softly in the water. And it was one of the most calming things that I've ever seen. It was absolutely beautiful. So after seeing the spiny lobster, she tapped me on my hand again and she gave me a signal to wait right there. Well, she dove down a little bit deeper and I saw her pick something up and put it in her pocket. When we got back up to the boat, she actually showed me that she had caught, not a spiny lobster, but a regular lobster, and was actually going to have it for dinner that night with garlic sauce and some other Caribbean vegetables uh, that are indigenous or uh, originally grown in St. Lucia. And so it was a lot of fun, one, to see the beauty of nature and then to experience the bounty of nature uh, as it exists in the underwater world that many of us only see in aquariums.